Good morning. I'm Tierra, and you're watching Verses of the Day with T. Today's verse comes from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 18. Before we get into the initial reading of God's word, we pray. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Lord, we love you and we trust you. We just want to say thank you for all you have done and all you will do. Lord, please continue to lead us and guide us and mold us and shape us into the sons and daughters you have called us to be. Lord, please continue to move, remove all people, places, and things that are hindering us from reaching our destiny. Anoint me to speak and anoint those on the other side of the screen to hear. We love you and we praise you. Thank you. All right, good morning. I hope everybody slept okay. I hope everybody's doing okay. Here we go. Let's go. Second Corinthians 4.18. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will last forever. Woo! That was a word right there. So let's break it down. We don't look at the troubles we can see right now. Meaning... In times of trouble, we might have some troubles right now, but we know that troubles don't last always. We're not going to spend too much time focusing on whatever troubles we have right now because we need to be keeping our eyes on the prize and our attention set on our future and what is to come. So we can't put all our energy on the troubles of right now because we got to trust and have faith that these troubles don't last always and that they're not going to be here long. It says, rather, we fix our things on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. We can't see all of God's promise for our life right now. But one thing we do know is that this current situation that we are in right now is not our last place. So we're not going to keep our eyes fixed on the box that we're in. We're going to look to the future, look to the light, because we know that this present moment is not permanent. This is not our permanent place where we are today. So if you're in a good place, guess what? That means that you have a chance to go further or you can stay content. If you're not where you want to be, guess what? That means that your present situation is not going to be how we're always going to be. So let's keep our eyes on the future. Let's keep our eyes on the promise of God. Let's stay hopeful. And let's just go out here making the right decision for each and every day. And taking it one day at a time because that's really all we can do. You have your source. Spend time with God. Talk to him. He knows your heart. He knows your intentions. He knows uh, where you're going. He has a purpose and a plan for your life. How do you know? Because somebody took their last breath last night and it wasn't you. So if you're seeing this message, he kept you for a reason and you're too blessed to be stressed. Let's have a good day on purpose. I love y'all and I thank y'all for watching.